pretty much all through the studio all you see on your left and right is really great vintage gear i hold my breath and slow my heart beat when you console me babe you show me the light when i'm lonely when i'm over the edge babe you fool me babe you show me the light i have held you tight good night open my eyes huge collection of vintage microphones from Neumann 48s RCA ribbon mics, Coles ribbon mics, uh, Neumann Fed 47s, uh, and of course, then there was a whole bunch of vintage gear there. Like they had amazing, uh, you know, preamps and guitars and basses and synthesizers. I mean, it was just recording everything to two-inch tape. We had a, a, a really, really good sounding tape machine. All the microphones went through millennia preamps. Not all, but a, f a fair amount. Also, this studio was a was a I don't know what the word a boutique studio, I guess is what we call them, where they had a lot of custom built gear, which uh, which helps in getting a you know unique sound. So you can like chain a few pieces of gear together to get the exact sound you want. We actually recorded both on tape and on Pro Tools, and then how we picked takes was finally like. Uh, like depending on the song, like some songs we picked a tape take, other songs we picked a Pro Tools tape. Another really cool thing was that they actually had a plate reverb, like a real like six feet long ta uh, plate uh, that was right outside the studio and they had also a real spring reverb. I remember one day when Pratik and me went downstairs and we literally took out every keyboard in the studio. Some didn't work, some worked, but just hooking up all of them, getting the right sound, uh, because another huge thing which is great on this project is we didn't do anything, no software instruments were used. There was a Whirly and there was a, a Rhodes and uh, uh, those are both like really like sort of classic electric pianos and uh, both of those we used on two songs. All, all of this, this stuff, you know, these small things that you, 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 you put a little extra effort into that, you know, today's digital age it's all about speed and efficiency, but it wasn't in this case. So you really, you know, put your time into it, into it, and at the end, you're you're really you you you've got a project that you're proud of. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, again like you know, kind of stuff you just don't find in studios across the world. Forget India, uh, which really made it a special place. <laughs>